Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Davies at the Avon Outdoor Learning Center. We are using a dichotomous key to look at common minerals and rocks here in the central part of the United States. We're in Indiana specifically, and we're using a dichotomous key which act, asks multiple questions, and depending on the answer to that question, you move through the key and hopefully you reach a solution, a resolution, a discovery of whatever it is you happen to be looking at. So this rock right Right here or actually it is a mineral I'll give that much away this one kind of looks like a, a piece of a I don't know, it looks like brain or cauliflower or something like that doesn't it this uh, happens to be one of the most common minerals here in the Midwest it's used in many many things around our homes so for this one let's jump in and start using the key number one uh, just a reminder the tools that we need are a steel nail uh, I'm going to be using diluted hydrochloric acid or you can use kitchen vinegar and you'll also need your fingernail. Remembering that a steel nail and a fingernail are both on Mohs scales because both have minerals in them. A steel nail has a hardness of about a 6 to a 7 on Mohs scale and our fingernail, if you're a good healthy person, your fingernail should be about a 2.5. Question number one says, scratch your rock with a steel nail. You may have to scratch it hard and more than once. And the two possible outcomes to this question are, if your rock is easily scratched by the nail or it leaves a groove in the rock, go to number two. The other option is if your rock is not easily scratched by the nail, but leave, the nail actually leaves a mark on the pencil, you're gonna go to number six. So here's the steel nail and here's me. And you kinda gotta put some elbow grease into it. All right. Let's see if you guys can see this. I don't know if you saw, but here where I was scratching, it might have been off screen, sorry. Uh, you can actually see that there's, um, it looks like I was trying to draw on this rock with a pencil. That's actually the steel nail being rubbed off on the rock. That means the rock is harder than the nail. It has greater than a six or a seven on Mohs scale of hardness. So all in all, a pretty hard rock. So my answer is if you're not easily scratched by the nail and it leaves a silver mark, go to number six. So I'm jumping all the way down to number six. Number six says, look closely at your rock and touch its surface. Okay, here we are. Here's our rock. Pan out here so it's a little easier to see. All right, uh, number, the number top choice here says, if your rock is white, tan, gray, black, brown, pink, or purple, and feels smooth and glassy and has sharp edges with points, then your rock is, okay, well, let's stop right there because uh, certainly don't have any sharp edges. It is a tan rock, uh, but it doesn't have any sharp edges or points. So I do not believe that it's this option, which is chert. Next option is if your rock is gray, black, or brown. Okay, hold the phone right there. Uh, maybe you could say kind of grayish, brownish. Let's keep reading though. Uh, some shiny green or blue, then your rock is what is left over after burning coal or called cinder. Well, definitely not green, black, or blue. Uh, so not cinder. And then the final choice here is if your rock is white or clear, may have sharper rounded points, sometimes looks like cauliflower or stacked pen pencils, then you have a mineral called quartz. Well, guess what? We have a mineral called quartz. And I have some other examples. I said this one looks like cauliflower or brains. Here's one that looks like those stacked pencils that the dichotomous key mentioned. I also think it looks kind of like petrified wood. Lots of cool nooks and crannies on this one. And also a very rough rock. All of these are pretty rough. And then finally, here's another chunk of the rounded one, but get, the, get this. If you've ever cracked into a geode before, that meant that there was air pockets or negative space as the minerals were forming, and you actually get to see some of that cool crystal shape that quartz can create. And if I add the sunshine in here, now I can't see the screen, but I don't know if you guys can see how much that sparkles. So the answer to this one was uh, quartz. Now you're asking maybe how come we never put acid on it? Because the dichotomous key let us past any of the minerals or rocks that had any calcium in them, right? So because our rock was harder than a steel nail, that's pretty much a dead giveaway that there's not gonna be any calcium uh, in within this rock or mineral and so we never even had to use the hydrochloric acid I will tell you right now if we dripped some on there nothing would happen it would just run down the side that's quartz